All right, Master Shredder, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Salute. Once again, Master Shredder, train different game, different That's good money. We're here to show you the common mistakes on when you're doing your push-ups and why you should stop doing your push-ups like this and to help you get your gains properly and so you can activate the right muscles and you don't hurt yourself, too, because you might hurt yourself if you keep doing them like this, all right? So, um, common mistake. First common mistake I would I would believe is like the sinking of the back, of course, like the lower back, like sinking in too much. So when that sinks in too much, you can't really activate the core and the chest muscles like properly, you know. So if it's sinking in too much, like it, you know, that's not gonna get what you need done. You wanna keep that. So you can build the tension, you can get a better squeeze. Squeeze better. You don't get much of a squeeze right here. It's like just air there. So you don't want that. You don't want your knees touching the floor. That's another common mistake. You don't want your knees touching the floor every time you go down. You're gonna hurt your knees. Keep your knees off the floor, man. Man, stay off the ground. And yeah. And that is like a rest period as well too. If your knees is touching the floor as well too every time you go down. So. Keep your knees up off of the floor. And that, those two right there, those two mistakes is crucial for building because like I said, you wanna build that squeeze and that push. So by keeping your body and your core and your legs and all of that locked and tight, that's where you get the squeeze from. Another um, other mistake I would say is um, like going too wide on the, on the push-ups. Going too wide. Like now, you can't really. Your body's like now. All of these things is gonna become a lot easier to do. Like the sinking in, it's gonna be easier to sink in, and then you can't really get no extension going up. I mean, I wouldn't. There's there's better shoulder exercises than that. It's not that it don't work on the shoulders, but we just wanna keep it efficient and not waste our time. So that's why doing them wide like that is not like recommended and that's a, like a common mistake if you're doing your shit too wide like that and you're putting a lot more strain on your shoulders and you're not really like hitting your chest and your back properly while you go and do your push-ups. So like your back, like I told you before in the video, when you do push-ups, it's not just your arm, like your triceps, your chest that you're hitting. You're also hitting your back as well too, like on the parallel bars, but even on the knuckles, like right here, I'm getting deeper in than on a regular push-up on my hands. So this right here is causing my back to touch. Like the center, the bit of my back to touch, the deeper I go on the on that. So that's why it's good to make sure that it's about just outside shoulder length, shoulder width, I would say. That's good enough to, I believe, create the tension that you need and give you the push, the proper push as well. And I believe those are, those are pretty much, um, and also another one too, I forgot on the pull up video to mention. The breathing, like holding your breath, if you just like, going down nothing coming out that that you your reps you shortening your reps at least 15 to 20 reps so you want to breathe either I, w I like to go every time I come up breathing some people like going breathing out going down but I like to exhale coming up I believe that's the proper way I didn't do the proper way just now because I was talking. Now I am. So you breathing on the way down and breathing out on the way up? Inhale yeah, going it. down. Exhale going down. Inhale going down. Exhale going down. Right? The breathing is very important. I'll have to touch on that. That's the what that's the last one I'm gonna touch on because it's the most important one. It's not the least important because, like, if you're not 
exhaling, like I said, you're gonna get dizzy and you're gonna take away from your reps and your muscles are not gonna get the proper release that it needs. That breathing is a major part of your pump. Why? Because your heart needs to get that blood flow and oxygen and blood to the muscles that it's using and oxygen and that signals that um, oxygen and blood that's flowing is like communication, you know? So that's how the brain communicates and sends it through. It has a system, so you wanna keep that system working properly and breathing is a major part of that system working properly, breathing properly. So on your pull-ups, push-ups, especially on your push-ups, we're talking about push-ups, but on your pull-ups too, your squats, dips, all of that. Calisthenics is a, a, a breath work, like it's a heavy breath work type training. You know, it's a breathing type training. It's, it's a lot of breath work you're doing in this because of all these reps. I like to say for every rep, it's a breath. You want to take a breath every rep. You don't want to skip no reps and you don't want to skip no breaths. So give, give them the proper, give them the proper way to do it now, the proper push-up. Proper push-up? Show them the mistake, not just give them the proper. All right, so, the proper. all right, so if you're gonna go, we got diamond, I'm gonna give you one of each. So with the diamonds, you can either go here. So we're gonna go right here, all right? Like right here, keep it right there. It's two of those, okay? So not a diamond, but almost just as good for hitting the chest, like hitting it close and hitting the same muscles. Really hitting that chest properly, like close inside like grip. And then if we wanna go out a little bit, even if we wanna go a little bit wide, like right here, this I would consider a little bit wider. And I, Another thing is like having your head, if you have your head down, you can't do anything. These are push-ups too, but you wanna target, if you're not trying to do those mid-range push-ups and you wanna really do the full thing, you wanna keep your head out of the way. Stay out of your way. All right? And those are the proper ways to do it. Take those. Take those little key nods from me and trust me, within the next week, you'll see and feel the difference. Okay, so now if y'all want some more, more personal specialized training, hit them up for the uh, consultation and then the training program, meal programs, get the full, you know, the full program from them or the one That's chance right. in a million at gmail.com. That's a fact. Okay. All right, also subscribe to his channel, Master Shredder. And um, um, hit content. him up. Yeah, hit him up for them again. Okay, so tell them what's going yeah, on. Got, got more content for y'all. More surprise collabs. Um, more workouts. More how I eat. That's important too. Y'all yeah. got to get it too. Like you said, the consultations. If you don't know, if you really don't know what you're doing and you want to really get on the right track and quit wasting time, you got to get that consultation in order so we can get you on track. And I got the merchandise too. Got the hoodies, it's about to be hoodie season. So that's coming. We got a couple weeks left, so I ain't rushing it. Yeah. Even though the hoodies is fire, I ain't rushing it though. Okay. That's all for me right now. Okay. All right, good looking out, Shredder. More to come from Shredder, man.